Radius the same all the way to that end, and then stake length. And then we'll, we're going to stake them about two and a half feet apart, two and a half to three feet apart. Three. Uh, we're going to stake them sort of at an angle, not too much. Um, and then we're going to start uh, using the, the measured uh, piece. Right. Okay. So we're, we're going to cut these two sides. Like I said, a little, uh, we're going to do an extra push. them and we'll also label these maybe these will be A B C D. Oh, yeah. these will be numbers. Okay. And then once we have those stick down uh, everything else is just wire tight. You know we're just gonna divide yeah. the verticals in thirds. We're probably gonna have a mark by then. So they're gonna already be marked so that we don't have to measure on the side. And we just connect the these are two 20 footers. Um, yeah, two twenty four footers, so about 40 feet long. Okay, so these, these long horizontals are, are 20 footers, so connected is 40 total. And we're just gonna put them at about a third, divide into thirds, and just tie them. Kind of see this one, which was the one that, that was really well done. Uh, this one looks like it was. Uh, this one looks really like. Come, come closer, guys. Uh, as you see, a lot of these look messy and uneven because. So we're trying to do something more like this so that it looks more a little bit more uniform. We'll and then the ends, the, the ends, we twist the ends so that it, they don't rip through the fabric. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe two or three people can be doing this while others hold it because uh, we do need pliers to get it that tight. Um, but basically, this is being, this is hold, this is holding up just by friction. Yeah. You guys have these at different lengths in case like the pounds more slow. Yeah. Have, so we're gonna have it has the access, or are we gonna like, cut it once we get there? We're gonna cut it once we get there. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll have this dimension uh -huh. with like an extra foot at it, so just in case that. like the slope doesn't yeah. lend itself. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you cut it with. I have a question. So if you have kind of like uh, the slopes kind of like not like the way we do have it. So we cannot have any kind of like, we're not sure about what uh, kind of like uh, space they're going to kind of like intersect together because we don't know how much deep we can go. So we have to kind of like go over there, see how it's hard enough and how it's going to move. And if we just hold it and we just stay, okay, this right. is third. What we'll record. do is we'll this measure it the way it is now. Uh -huh. And if say, we'll, if we end up using a little bit extra space, then we'll just, uh, Scale it. We'll just, so, we'll just have to scale it. How much is inside? Is like one half. half so it's yeah. it's a stake half. about this long, about so two feet. We so have one foot sticking out of the ground, so half and half. Yeah, in the so ground. We have half something half we like turn. kind of like making oh, like a hole to go. Oh, we have a, a, a sledgehammer. Oh. Yeah, to stake them down. Sure, yeah. So I mean, they're pretty stable, right? Yeah, 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 but over th this is yeah. really hard. Over there is really soft. Yeah. True, true. Over there, and, and there might be there so, might be moisture. So. so we need. So should we bring like extra rope to then? I guess maybe tying spots like this no. and tie it down. Oh, I no, think. What, about uh, what is it inside this? Steak. New York steaks. We're gonna have. Yeah. Uh, no question. What is it inside this now? Nothing. <laughs> steak. No nothing. Okay. Steak is only up to here. No, it's kind of like. Yeah, the stake. Oh. It's, it's, it's a big metal piece. Yeah, we put it in there. I, like this I think yeah. that metal piece is kind of like. How's oh. it? Is it one piece? We can bring like the, those, those cheap little ones. Put it like on that extra. We can do it. I don't think we'll need it, uh, but we can do it. Uh, the way no. this thing is going this way, there's no stopping that. So, but what we can do is get it in the ground and get it to sit in place. Like, and I think it's maybe in one particular one it may not be too strong, but now that everything's tied down together, it's, it's, uh, it's there will be a balance. Yeah. So if you have oh. enough to stick to each of them, <laughs> yeah. so, so step one, measure. We're gonna measure from the from the from the center with a string, right? Yeah, we're gonna measure the radius. And then step two is. Lay out the stakes three feet apart. Yeah, the stakes three feet apart. 
Um, then put the vertical PVCs in, and just real quick, show you guys. Um, I don't know. We can set it right now. Should we do across this way or that way? Like this? Yeah. Wait, I have one more question. Yeah, we're good. Yep. Do we have enough sticks? Like we got plenty of sticks. We got. No, we already cut. We already like kind of like everything. Uh, is it's already made. Bird. Oh, you got we it. We already so. made. So the... We don't have one of outside. Did you get see it? Uh, it's just a piece of rebar. Okay, just a rebar. I know, it's like rebar. But so, right. yeah. Well, this one is rebar. I think it's where we show. Oh, we use the, the yeah, the, we, like, we're Lewis, use Lewis cut over 90 pieces of rebar, so we have... Okay, 90 pieces. So, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to have a kit of parts, so each curve is going to come with its little bundle pack, and then the team that gets that curve, you have all the pieces, you just need to assemble them, so I don't know if you've already heard about what it's like to get there. We have you and Brian acting as runners to try and secure a spot for us, and then when we get there, we immediately have to get our bundle and just Very haul good. ass down the path and get our spot. So we'll lay out where we want the curves and then we're going to have a team that's going to go in and hammer in the stakes. One another person can put in the PVC and then most of the work is going to be putting the wire ties in. So you just take, we'll have a set amount already given to you so you don't have to cut a bunch at weird lengths we're gonna go in make it like a c go in starting on the inside ending on the outside and then pull it around we'll have it i guess set like that going from you know down right to left it's the diagonal yeah i mean it's a lot better at this time but we'll have it at length i'm thinking Two bands is enough to make it look clean and hold it secure. So once you get this and this, you're going to want these points facing inside because if they're out, there's a potential for it to rip the fabric. So you're going to just pull it as tight as possible and then take the, what are these called, linesmen or whatever. You're going to grab a point there and then just twist. These are the wrong ones. I, I guess you could do the very first turn by hand, just so I get, so, so it can okay. hold as, as, tight, as tight as possible, right? Yeah, so you could do this sort of thing. Once you do that as tight as possible, then you, you then you can kind of stick the, the pliers as close as possible to the uh, PVC as, as you can, and then you can start twisting it. And then it's gonna create this. It's gonna get real tight up, up here. I don't know if you guys can feel it. Yeah. Okay. But the length won't be hanging out as much. It'll be a lot feel it, closer. Feel it, feel it, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, I've, and I've only turned it once, and it's already. And then another thing, the, the length we give you, it's gonna be more like this, nice and neat, so you don't have this much overhang. And then all you do is take the ends and bend them in like little like butterfly things. Yeah, and I don't want to cut the. Um, I don't want it someone walking by and catching their eye on it. And then how about the uh, fabric? When do Yeah. Two so, layer fabric, kind of like it's gonna be one layer. layer. It's just gonna be connected from this top to the bottom. We have a slightly bigger PVC that we could use for a bigger. I think we already discussed it. It's gonna be like a batten, like one piece just hitting against or placed against here to hold it from the top and the bottom. Or we could do the clips that they've done yeah. in previous years. Okay. Okay, give me a second. So if there's going too. to be one layer inside, because you know, over this most of the time it's windy, it's kind of like make it like a bend inside, it's kind of like it's going to be it's gonna be really kind of like... It actually might look cool if we did that too. No, we're we're we not, think that cool, be, but it's not, not going to be, be able to like... Prevent that. There's going to be wind coming from... No, I don't want to be something that is kind of like happened with the two years ago that we had it. So inside was the way we did like design, it 